Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. This is part two of the series. Really, it's the part one of the game of my new gameplay, like playthrough of the game. Uh, if you guys didn't see the last one, I just kind of did like a basic introductory guide type of thing into different things that are in the game that are worth knowing about. But really, if you play the game, you'll pick up on these things pretty quickly anyway. So uh, this is my newest playthrough of the Outer Worlds. We're going to be hopping into this. Thanks to uh, Private Division for hooking me up with a game key to check the game out. Out. Let's go ahead. Let's hop right into it and uh, we'll continue with the playthrough. Go ahead. Say what you're gonna say Go ahead. Say it. She doesn't want to talk now. She's my she's my first companion that I ran across and she's gonna help me in battle uh, This is the outer worlds. It's a wonderful looking game It's a beautiful Gorgeous game the there are different planets that you can go to essentially different areas that you can go to and They're not the biggest areas, but there's a ton of things crammed into these little areas and I mentioned in the last one that it's worth like literally looking everywhere in this game because there's loot in crazy places or just like behind buildings and things like that that kind of don't make a lot of sense we're outside of this botanical lab and uh, essentially we're here to try to talk to these people and get them to rejoin the colony back over there in Edgewater it's not too far away as you can see but we need the power from here to fuel up the ship that the marauders like the marauder ship so that way we can uh, go about our business and do what we need to do all right so like I said in in the last episode um, you can get quests from different characters like named characters in the game and so uh, like she gave me a side quest and I can do that and stuff like that and you get different experience for discovering new locations and doing different things and so it's kind of worth all doing and uh, like I said you, you can find loot just kind of crammed in different places like uh, there's these areas are rather small so like you know most often there could be something back here that you can find and so like literally looting around buildings and things like that are worth doing most of the time also in this game you can literally steal everything as long as you don't get caught and uh, no one really cares because nothing gets marked as stolen and so as long as you like i said don't get caught you're good and so you know just close the door get in here chica but uh all this stuff i, do, I don't need all these things and i think you can uh get away with pretty much <laughs> Stealing everything in this game if you really want to. Alright, there's nothing even in here. Let's get out of here, Pavardi. So like I mentioned in the last episode, it's worth like breaking down a lot of things. It's also worth selling stuff too because you can make quite a bit of money just off of all the junk that you loot. Because you will like continuously, as long as you are doing that, you will loot tons of stuff in the game. And... Uh, Okay, 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 I'm good. I don't think I need to. Also, what the heck? Did it not equip the stuff that I had before? I thought I did. Oh, I did. Okay, I've got two sets. I was going to say, I, I didn't. I, I thought I equipped that, but I was just checking. Okay, let's go and let's just keep. I'm going to sell. I got so much stuff that I'm like essentially hoarding <laughs> at this point. But that's kind of the thing. You want to make sure that you're getting money and weapon and armor parts and things like that. And uh, so it's important to kind of keep some of the things and then break down some other things. You know, make sure you're utilizing your mods and whatnot eff effectively. But uh, I'm going to go and see if I can just steal everything that's in this joint. Like, e even this place in and of itself is, is fairly large. I mean, there's all kinds of different... I'm going to see if I can actually... I don't think these people will notice me here, but just on the safe side. Yeah, I think we're good. She just came out. Okay, we're good. So uh, I've got so much ammo from this place. It's insane. But even in, even in this place in and of itself, there's so many different rooms and doors and things like this right here. You know, I could unlock if I had more mag picks. Uh, but essentially, I mean, you could spend a lot of time just in one little area and doing all the different quests that I'm sure everyone here gives you if you really want to do all of the side quests uh like i'm because i'm okay deserter people with names are the people who give you quests and so you find them okay we found a workbench like this guy for example he's most likely has some kind of uh quest maybe oh they know each other trying to get my ship off the ground phrased in such a way before i guess we're all trying to get our ships off the sorry i just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us 
Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody. Oh. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make... You ever heard of the Young Spacer's so you Guide go. to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. It... Those are good. Find the three volumes. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. So, uh, you can see that there's like literally all kinds of different things you can do. Now, I can modify. I got the shotgun if I want to. I can also break down all the different things that I have that I don't need. I've got her equipped with an assault rifle. I took off the grenade launcher. Let's just break down all these different things that we no longer need that will, uh, we'll keep that. We'll get rid of these ones. Now, this is the one that's modded, but I have a better weapon now. And like I said, you can't get rid, you can't get mods back and stuff after the fact. So there we go. So getting all that stuff is going to be very worthwhile later on when I need these different parts and whatnot to, uh, you know, kind of expand and make my character even better. Now, see, there's all these different buildings and stuff around here. And it's, eh, here you go. It really, I mean, there's always something hidden somewhere. If you're willing to spend the time looking for stuff. So this is what we're here for. We're here for this power regulator. But if I go up to it and try to take it out, I get I get a little Zapparino. And so we've obviously got to do something else. And probably go talk to this guy and make him fork it over. Just give it to us so we can be on our merry way. So let's go in here and let's actually talk to the person we need to talk to and do the oh it's a girl and do what we need to actually do hey you're hungry There's adelaide right it's outside. adelaide duh not a not a man a to lay your head down and I'll fetch oh your she's focus. so nice whatever your troubles with edgewater leave them at the gates and be welcomed here you must be adelaide i have been called that among other things green thumb grandmother the strange old lady who keeps flowers <laughs> excuse me miss mcdevitt Sorry, it's just, you got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? Ah. Uh. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. Don't drink the tea. Old... Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off the power that belongs to the town. Reed asks you to con consider coming back to the town. He's willing to make amends. Uh, okay. Make amends. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. Okay. Oh, we don't want to do this because we might be in front of a fight if we do that. Oh, let's do it anyway. You're doing this for Reed. Why? Hmm. My reasons are my own? I need to repair my ship. Let's do this. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Oh. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort she seems like they are doing better here and perhaps have a better way of life Hmm, what have you got against the town? Uh, I'll consider it Okay, we're gonna we're gonna think about this now. Here's the thing Edgewater is very established. It's ran by the corporations there needs to be a little bit of government, somewhat, to give people freedom. If they're taking people's freedom, that's another story. But if these people are here because they just want to be, like, rebellious and whatnot, I mean, I don't know. Okay, you've learned that there are power regulators in both the Edgewater Cannery and a botanical lab elsewhere in the region, but neither can be removed unless power is routed away from them. Travel to the region's geothermal plant and route the power away from one of the locations. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take 
power away from Adelaide instead because I think that yeah I can't we can't reward these people for just uh, going all crazy and I mean maybe we can but we're not going to I don't really care I'm gonna do what I want to do and that's gonna be taking the power from these people because I just need to do it I just need somebody to give me their freaking power it's freaking mines all over the place back here this buck killed me the three of them blew up all at once good thing you can see them and that they're lit up jeez louise all right we're going the back route over here look at that beautiful waterfall now what is this up here there's something up here that I can get to let's go take a gander because I want to find I gotta find things I love exploring wait a minute can I get up there I don't know if I can nope don't think you can that's unfortunate found ourselves a cave let's go in and find out what's in here most likely marauders <laughs> hey guys Shh. be sneaky Pavardi. Every time I say her name, it sounds like a, just, it just is a weird word to say. Ooh, it's quite full of things. What's up, dude? Oh, hold on. That's nice. They did. <laughs> I love that. Any, any game that has abilities like that are just so fun to play. Because they give you just different, uh, like, style of gameplay different times when you want it. These guys are just, oh, they're holding each other. That's cute. What's in this place? An assault rifle. Fun times barrel. There's something up there. Maybe I'll have to pick that, though, do I? Let's go see, shall we? Give me a something good. Mag pick, nice. Armor parts, okay, sweet. So we got a new, we got a couple new things. Nothing good though. We got, we're just getting basic loot right now. Uh, same assault rifle, okay. L let's us go. All right, here's the geothermal plant. We've got this to work with. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Yeah, let's find a way in, shall we? And hammer out of allow us to do a little shock damage. Yeah, get a little zapify there. All right, well that thing came out here. Where's she going? Okay, I'm just gonna jump over the fence. <laughs> That's always nice to just be able to jump straight over something. So there's different types of uh, uh like weapon types in game. You know what? Actually, I bet I can just shoot it down pretty quickly. Different sentries and whatnot. There's different types of game. Uh, there's physical. There's uh, uh, plasma. There's shock. There's N-ray. Is that an explosive barrel? I think so. I don't actually know what that was. Okay. Let's go in here. Yeah. So this is all junk. Armor parts. Get those armor parts. Most of it's junk, at least. Everybody has stuff though, so you can get all, check every single body, man. You can get all kinds of loot. Are these explosive? Oh yeah, little, oh, they're like little shock containers. Well, on to looting. One takes four to hack. Okay, space choice handguns, body count at a discount. Emerald Vale geothermal plant, terminal. Please disarm security fences. Done. View recent logs. Well, so we just spent Spent a bunch to uh, un unlock the fence that we can just literally jump over in a certain spot. I mean, that's what she did, basically. She must have done that. I don't know how she got in, but she found a way in. So she didn't jump the fence, but she found a found a spot. That's nice. Vending machine discovered, which I can't really do much with. I'm not going to spend money on that thing. But you can sell eventually. Ooh, yeah, skin tough stuff. Uh, okay, I'll just take it anyway. So, oh, I could literally... Oh, no, this was a gate. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, we're inside the plant. So let's get down to business in here. 
Don't worry about that. We are doing the right thing, okay? Don't question me. Don't question what we're doing here. Excuse me. Let's let's talk about this, please. A little drone. Let's go up here. See what's up here first before we do anything else. And we'll level up here in a second. Alright, nice. I like this place. Lots of armor, weapon parts, and stuff. Okay. Just doing my good old looty looty. What's what can we do? Unlock office door. Sweet. Okay. Nice. That's always that's always a nice thing. Unlock the doors that you need to get get to. Ooh, now do I waste let's just do it. Clever. I'm I'm a little obsessed with pick locking. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with like using everything and never actually keeping anything. I use but it's important though because you occasionally run into like locked doors that cost like four and there's always something really good behind it and so it's worth kind of uh it's worth not really messing with i don't what is that thing oh bypass shunt nice more more uh salve okay let's let us be on our way shall we what's down there i wonder oh like i was just saying here you go one of four darn it should have saved. Ah, oh, there was one in here. I should have saved it, man. I should have saved it. All right. Oh, this is a massive terminal. Let's say enter password. Oh. Authorized passcode is required. Does it say a passcode anywhere? I don't see one anywhere. Mm, do I pick that? I don't even know. Oh, the passcode was accepted. I just had to click the button. <laughs> okay. There you go. This place better have a lot of stuff, man. Nope. Nothing. Worker's outfit, Mr. Power, backpack, man. Alright, let's go in here. It seems hot in this room. Just glad we don't have to repair any valves or anything. That would you know be familiar to another game uh, so far I mean the experience of the game is 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 a, is really good and I I heavily enjoy playing this game it's very nice it's definitely a game too that when I stopped covering it I'm going to play it anyway which I can't say that I do that about many games okay what do you got what do you got range weapon mod magazine increase the amount of ammunition the weapons magazine carries oh yeah nice okay I want to save what I can for unique stuff. I'm just going to keep the mods until I find nice unique weapons that I want. And then we can mod the crap out of them. A lot of dead people in here. It's like robots killing some people. This place just keeps going. See what I'm talking about with how a one little area can have tons and tons of things in it? Where'd you go? Who said it? Yeah, I don't know if it's worth doing that. I like just shooting things. Die. They don't do a lot of damage though. That's always a good thing. Alright, we're up here in this room at least. Let's see what's up here. What are we doing? Can we get... Is this where we need to be? No. This is not where we need to be. We need to be way over there. Look at how much stuff is in this place. Just keeps going. Now we're above. I'm going to go back down and loot more stuff. Oh, what the heck? Not this place real. is You're not real. really hot. Hey, my man. Well, I don't know where you are, but I am real. Look at this. Insanity. Oh, he's down there. I'm coming, dude. You're safe, man. We're going to help you out. We're gonna get you out of here, man. We're real, believe us. Impact hammer. Hey, dude. You're not real. You're not real. Yep, you know no, I am. Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. Most people don't see me coming. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No. <laughs> see, see, Higgins? Of course. 
Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. <laughs> I use it. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, oh, he's nuts, man. Tuna critic, Aetherweight personnel. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer. Right? You were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Okay, if you worked in those mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Uh, let's see, have you been living down here? This place looks like, okay. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. Okay, I can deal with, yeah. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other. And oh, nice. Okay. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act. Include. Nice. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Did I already do this? I thought I already did that. Did I already do this? I'm pretty sure I already did. All right. Volume two. Okay, let's. Uh, just gonna. I don't want to miss anything. Got to loot everything. All right. I'm pretty sure I've already done that though. Right? We've already diverted power or something. We entered a passcode to get into the room, so I think that maybe it's the same spot. Perhaps. Look at this place. Looks sweet. I don't know what this thing is. Plasma, whatever, but it looks really cool. Did I come in this way? I can't remember which way I came. Let's go this way though. Cause I don't believe I came this way, and I can't miss my. I can't miss any loot. Oh, what are you? Well, I said, what are you doing back there, little box? It's there's stuff everywhere, man. I'm telling you. Got it. Heads down. Necklace. Am I stuck? I'm good. Okay. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah, I'll stay away from it. Don't worry. I'm not gonna touch it. Okay, this is this it? This. Whoa, whoa! Chill out for a second, okay? We're trying to make you shoot at yourself over here. That wasn't it. That was the steam release valve to shut the steam off. Right, if I can just follow the the marker. You know, get it carried away. What the heck did that do? I'm not too sure. I shouldn't be pulling levers. That's never a good thing, right? Just pulling. Whoa! Chill out, the drone. Just those things are pretty easy to deal with. There's a guy back here. Another, another mod. This place is massive, man. Who shot at me? I'm use my shot. I gotta use my shotgun more often. Where, where are you getting? Oh. Woo! Re reprogram the mechanicals. I didn't reprogram them, but maybe I just killed all of them. <laughs> maybe that's what I did. Because I definitely didn't reprogram anything. So, oh, she's almost dead. All right, here we go. We're in the room now. Let's go up here. Let's do what we've we've come here to do. Let's take everything while I while I'm at it. Okay, redirect power. All right, there we go. Emerald geothermal plant. Warning, safety. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Power reduction has failed. Manual override required. Oh, that's. That's just peachy, ain't it? That's just peachy. I think we've actually already switched one of them off, and so... Yeah, we're good. Sweet. We've done it. Okay. Now I just need to go and grab that, grab that power regulator, right? That's the next thing on the list to do? I don't think so, though. I think I have to do something else first. Alright, here we go. We are gonna redirect power to Edgewater from the laboratory. Boom. Can't make, we can't go back after the choice. There we go. It has been diverted. Your reputation with the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile, your reputation isn't killed on sight, leaving you. I didn't even read what it said. 
All right, it's been diverted. Okay, so now we can go and get the stinky power regulator that I need to get off this stinking heap of rock over here. But where? Where's the door? I always, I always have this problem with games. Can never find the way back. Out. Here we go. I found it. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, there she is. What's up? That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the sake Ooh. of the war, chopped you into pieces, and roasted you on a spit. Uh huh. This is all you're doing: cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Just Without go back to Edgewater. Spoil, I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not. Why did I do it? You killed my garden, destroyed my community, <laughs> sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. All right. I w I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You're being unreasonable. What happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. Ooh. When the plague. Okay. We had a store of medicine locked away. Well, that so sucks. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. All right. So she's mad, but Reed didn't get the medicine. As Come on back. Reed is All right. Let's see what happens here. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to <laughs> chaos. chaos? Yeah. Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four. All right. Sure. I'll kill him or something. Right? That'd be fine. You can easily do that. Return to the unreliable. Hey guys, just wanting you to know, uh, you're gonna have to go with the edge water. I took your stuff, so. Whoo! No kidding. Part two. Ain't that just? I appreciate. Do I? I think I have all three, right? Well, don't. Keep yeah, I think I do have three. Two whole. Uh oh no, I don't have them all. Darn. Okay, I thought I did. I thought I had all of them. Okay, where's the people I'm supposed to look in the eye and tell them to go back? Yo, my man, you go back, okay? Oh yo, get on out of here. I think there he is, right? Grace, there's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Oh, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. The marauders are gonna come. You're all gonna die. Go back to Edgewater, you fools. Forget your plants and leave while you still can. So I actually went back and I talked to her and did the dialogue about convincing Reed to leave instead of killing him. And uh, she said you can convince him by saying that you, she can help make all the people healthy again and get rid of the plague. And the way to do it is by growing crops and like medicinal stuff from the different plants. And she said the key, uh, since life doesn't really grow that well here, the key is human corpses. She grinds them up. Uh, you know, marauder, dead, dead ones. Things that nobody, people, nobody will miss. And she essentially puts that in the soil for fertilizer, and it works. Light assault rifle. We got a better one than that, but we'll just go ahead. Oh! You know what? I'm curious. Let's go back in here. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh. Oh my gosh, and the mama and the babies. Uh, we're gonna go back, since I have four now, we're gonna go back inside the uh, plant and uh, and see what's in that door. All right, please be something good in here, okay? Give me something good. Nicely done. This is a, was it worth it? Weapon parts, logic module. Okay, got two mag picks back, that's good. Okay, literally there's nothing else in here. What a waste of my time. All right, let's go put this thing in the ship and get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. 
But let's go put it in here. And after Woo! Ship? Oh my Oh. Yeah, this is my I'm ship. All right. I can't understand. I want to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Oh, it's kind of you to say that. I want to ask you something and you can say no. Yeah, of and course you, you can come with me. Your back. Yes. All right. Captain, you can call me Captain Intech. I'm here to to take you to worlds you've never seen before. All right. There's nothing in this place, right? Hey, what? That thing lied to me before and said there was nothing in here. The computer's like, there's no, there's nothing worth taking on this ship. What a bunch of lies. I didn't even bother looking around because of it. All right, let's put that in there. Install on that power regulator. Now we can do different things. What's up here? Let's go up here real fast and see. Let's look around our new ship. Come with me, Pavardi. Such a really, like, bad sounding weird name. I don't know why. But that's what it, it just sounds weird. We're stocked up. Look at all this. This is your new home here. Go ahead and pick a cabin. Whatever one you want, you can pick yours next to mine if you want, and we can knock on the wall to each other and say, "Hey, you sleep yet?" And and I could be like, "Go, go to bed." Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Sweet. Let's get out of here. Boom. There you go. Game over. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so this is the interplanetary map. Um, there's different, like, just different places you can go to, and we have an option. We have a mission to go to the Groundbreaker and talk to the person there, uh, which I'll do. I'm, but I'm gonna go back to Terra Two, and I'm going to like kind of finish the other missions that are there. Uh, but I'm, this is where I'm gonna leave it for right now. I just wanted to get to this map to show you the map. And that's why I kind of did things weird. But just wanted to show you this map. If you haven't seen this map, this is kind of all the different things that are in the game and different places and things like that. And so I'm gonna leave it right there for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.